Hi friends, my name is Alex and today I'm going to read a story about a witch on a broom. This is a rhyming story, so be sure to listen to the words that rhyme. Are you ready? Let's begin. This story is called Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and a long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purr, purr, and how the witch grin as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so windily, it blew off the hat. Oh no, friends. The wind was blowing so hard that the hat went flying off the witch's head. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is a room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog waggled his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. Oh, no! Down cried the witch as they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree, an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said as a witch tied her braid in her bow, I'm a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Wow, friends. So now they have a green birdie joining them. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked. With glee, and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Uh Uh-oh, where do you think? The one might be, friends. Let's find out. Then, all of the sudden, from out of the pond, leap a dripping wet frog. With a dripping wet wand, he dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak. I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped of joy and... Oh no, the broom snapped into two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. 
Down they went, tumbling into a bog. <gasps> oh no! The broom cracked and they all fly and they're all falling down. The witch half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar. That was a scary and loud. I am a dragon, as mean as can be. And which with french fries taste delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around. But no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, Just this once, I'll have a witch without fries. Oh no, friends, the dragon is getting closer. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feather and furred. It had four brightful heads. It had wings like a bird, and its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl, and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strove from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that is my witch. So friends, who could this be? Who do you think it is? <gasps> the dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It was nice to meet you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird, and down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat, and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you I'd be in the dragon's inside. Wow, what a relief, friends. It was the animals who helped the witch. Make sure she didn't get eaten by the dragon. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and a cat and a dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Friends, that is the end of this story. I hope you enjoyed it. And this was a wonderful story of the witch sharing her broom and friends helping the witch when she really, really needed some help. Until next time, my friends. Bye. <laughs>